Hey guys, it's Rob, and what I'm going to do now is a uh, accelerometer calibration. And I've got the uh, quad indoors because it's a little bit windy outside. But the first thing I did was bind it with the GPS disabled. So um, at the moment the GPS is disabled. So the first thing we need to do is turn on the quad and let it go into bind mode. So we're looking for that blue flashing light. There it is. Now what we have to do is bind with the elevator all the way down like this. So I'm just going to press the bind button. Elevator's all the way back and I'm turning it on. It's going into bind mode. Okay, so it's now bound. We can release the elevator. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the quad into um, stability mode because we need to flick it into agility mode when we're flying. So what you're going to see when I arm the motors is that light is going to change. So I'm just arming the motors. You can see it's now flashing green and red and blue. What I'm going to do is take off. Now at the moment it's out of calibration because it's just reset everything because it's uh, in the calibration mode. So if I let go of the sticks, it's actually going to drift back to me quite significantly. So what I need to do is put a lot of forward trim there. So I'm just going to do that. Just putting in enough forward trim to stop that drift back. And the other thing it's doing, I'm noticing, is drifting a little bit to the left. So I'm just using a bit of, uh, sorry, drifting to the right. So I'm just going to use a little bit of left trim. At the moment, all I'm doing is using the uh, elevator and the aileron trim to try and get the uh, trim sorted out. Okay, just need a little bit more forward. At the moment, I think that's reasonably good. I'm not using too much stick to correct. Seems to be flying fairly well without any trim input. So what I'm going to do now is put it into agility mode and you'll see the light starting to flash fast. So what you need to do now is just fly it for a few more seconds until that light starts flashing slow again. There it is, it's flashing slow, so what I'm going to do now is land. So I'm landing and I'm shutting down the motor with the throttle trim. So the next thing to do is uh, just centralise all the trims. So the elevator trim centralised, I've got to centralise the aileron trim and I've got to centralise the elevator trim. So I've just confirmed all the trims are neutral. Now the next thing you need to do is just move this rudder stick left, right, left, right and it will save the calibration. So here we go. Left, right, left, right you'll see that double beep and then it goes into its initialization and it's initialized now. So that's actually how we do the accelerometer calibration. So what I'll do now is I'll just take off to confirm it actually worked. And that's totally hands off at the moment. move it forward. Okay, so that's totally hands off and you see it's flying fairly stably. It's not really drifting too much in, in either direction. So that's all you need to do for the accelerometer calibration. Thanks for watching.